yeah, we're back in the dark room and we're back with pretty awful sound as you know in here. There's already whirring noises because the dehumidifier is churning away. I, it occurred to me that we're spending a lot of time in the dark room and we, you keep seeing glimpses of this crazy machine. Uh, it's just glimpses and yeah, a lot of people have probably never seen one before. So I thought we'd do a couple of very short videos, hopefully no more than five minutes each, on, enlar on the enlarger as a, as a machine. This, you heard me mention it several times, is my DeVere, and I've got the name right, the DeVere 504 Mark IV Dichromat, and because it's big, it's the one I'm going to look at. Basically, you know, it, it, there's, two, it's the, there's the head and there's the baseboard, which you can't see because it's, it's just a big board. You've seen, seen a lot of that. And the head itself comes in kind of three parts. Well, I'll grab the camera and look at closely. There's a light source, which in this case is all this bit. A uh, negative carrier, which comes out like so, and this one has different size, different size masks for it. Uh, and then the lens stage, which is focusable. You can move the head. This one's got bench level controls, it's fantastic. And yeah, you can move that bit for focusing. Uh, I'm going to turn it on now. This one's got a 500 watt head on it, so uh, there's, there's two 250 watt lamps in there. They're quite specialist lamps, so they're hideously bright uh, and they get quite hot. So this thing has two cooling fans which shift, I think it's about 11 litres of air per second each. So that's, that's, that explains a lot of the noise. There you go. Instant noise. And I'll turn that bit on as well. Uh, and I'll fiddle with this. Let's have a close look. Let's have a look at this head first. Here we have cyan, magenta, yellow filter controls. Because this is actually a colour enlarger. We walk that down, I'll show you the light source. This is probably, the microphone's probably going to pick this up. Um, excuse me one moment. Two lamps. They're 24 volt, uh, 24 volt, 250 watt each. So they're, they're, they're quite pokey, not going to take them out. In here is a big black box, which, uh, oh, that's a bit tight, I'm not going to lift it out. It's just a big box full of, lined with white um, polystyrene for light mixing. Uh, also in there there's set of dichroic filters controlled by these. And yeah, various other bits and pieces. There's some heat filters in there as well. Uh, then we move down to, well, literally the lens stage. Ah, there you are. We just open up that. And yeah, there you go. There's, there's the uh, neck carriers. The, the shiny bit. Uh, is the interchangeable mask for different size necks up to 5 by 4 inch on this beast and then there's the lens carrier which has lenses in it would you believe there's a surprise uh, I'm trying to find the box of lenses there's a box of lenses Lenses for the DeVere come on panels, so you just pop them in and twist and that's it locked in, you don't have to unscrew them. That's the big, big 5.4 lens, it's, you know, it's huge, stops down to f32. foot switch and a light comes on there for a second and we can look at some colours because if I turn that on 
sorry, the other one. There we have the light on permanently. The black stripe across it is the mask from the easel. And well, you can see that it's actually quite magenta -y from where I'm looking. But on the monitor, it doesn't look so magenta -y. Um That's actually full magenta now. And it's showing up white on the monitor. That's a deep blue. That's almost black. We go for green. Sorry, red. It's supposed to be pure red. It's pure red from where I'm stood. That's yellow. Obviously you can see that. And that goes to green. And that's the dichroic filters. The other two enlargers. That's a Durs 609 it says so on the top, again, lamp, negative carrier, lens is in there, that's actually a tube lens, there's no bellows on that one, it's, it's really very good, uh, it's about 60 years old, that's the, the lamp source work, the light source works in a different way on that one, and the, the other one, this one's 35mm only, this is another Durst CLS 305 dichroic head, 100 watt light source, it's another of those dichroic lamps. Um, 35 mil only, it's quite useful. That's the enlargers and roughly how they work. We will do another video on the theory with lots of drawings and no film of enlargers. That'll be good. See you in the next one.